Are you ready for the reveal? <laughs> Welcome to my channel. I normally do a review videos, but I thought it'd be fun to get five weird and random beauty products that I found on Wish. Now, we have some really interesting things. I probably wouldn't recommend getting all of these things, but they were all $3 or under for each thing. So we're gonna get into trying out everything today. So if you guys like this kind of video, Please let me know in the comments, give this video a big thumbs up. But I've never really tried like kind of weird products and I've heard of some of them before and I've seen some of them on videos, but I've never actually tried it myself. So I already got my face primed. I'm ready to ruin my face. <laughs> so the first product that I have is all dinged up. And these took forever to arrive, just to let you know. To get five products, it took until just about a week ago to get all of these products. And I ordered them at the end of September. So if you are going to order stuff on Wish, it's going to take a little while for it to get here. But this is the Dermacol Film Studio something something makeup cover. And it says it's waterproof. SPF 30, hypoallergenic, Ugh. I don't really know. I've heard of this before. Provides perfect coverage even in thin layers, not only for dark circles under the eyes, but also for unpleasant spots and skin blem blemishes. It may also be used for the whole face in order to darken or lighten the skin. Okay, so this is some like theater full coverage kind of stuff. We'll see. I did already pop it open because I was curious about the color, but this is what the tube looks like. And it actually says the expiration date on the top, which I do appreciate that because SPF does expire. And when products have SPF in it, it's really nice to have the date on there rather than trying to look up the number to figure out when it expires but it has a little film on here and the little cap and you just do it like hair color. I'm really nervous about this. So I'm just gonna take a little dollop. It is lighter than I would like it to be, but we're gonna try this out. Now this was a dollar on Wish, a dollar. So I think I'm just gonna take a regular stippling brush. I'm just gonna pick a little bit up. I'm just gonna stipple it on full coverage, even in thin layers. Uh, mm, <laughs> I don't think it's full coverage even in thin layers. Um, no, <laughs> no, it is not. Um, what? <laughs> it also has a super, what does that smell? It's really fragrant. It smells like, I don't even know what it smells like. It smells really strange, so. All right, going in with the second pump, or second dollop. I got a little bit more this time. See if we can try and get this going. Okay, so I definitely think the more, obviously the more you have, the more coverage it is. It doesn't really feel heavy, surprisingly. Like it doesn't feel like really thick, thick makeup, like regular, like theater makeup. Hmm. It's actually not as light as I thought it would be, but it's still not full coverage. Hello? Yeah, no. This is not, this is not for full coverage. I'm sorry. I was thinking this was going to be some kind of industrial, like, foundation I was about to put on my face. Nah. <laughs> no, it is not. It didn't even cover my pimple over here. Hmm. Now let's see y'all, what do I want to do with you? I'm gonna see if I can use this as like a concealer. I'm just gonna take another brush because it said even dark circles. I have dark circles. No, nope. I mean, it could be just the coloring. I bet you if it was darker, it would be a little bit more noticeable of a difference, but mm, mm. I'm gonna try and cover up this pimple too. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> it does not wanna be covered up. 
And even the redness around my nose, I'm having a cold that I don't want to get covered up. <laughs> uh, well, that was a bit of a letdown. I mean, it's not a bad foundation by itself. It's just not the claims that it initially had. <laughs> but like for a pretty dewy everyday foundation, I just wanna see what it does with a beauty blender. Oh no, it does not like that beauty blender. Heck no. Where's that brush? This was not the brush. Oh no, oh no. Yuck, we're gonna ignore this side of my face. But I just don't trust any of this stuff, honestly. Like I have the ingredients on here, on the back, but you know, I really, I don't know. Part of my instinct just doesn't wanna trust it, but I feel like I put on a lot of layers. So for me to put on that much makeup and I still see, oh, I have hiccups. Hmm, damn it. Oh God, I have the hiccups now. <gasps> Oh no. So I can see all of my, oh God, great. I can, I can see all my veins still peeking. Oh my God. <laughs> How am I gonna do this video? Oh no. Okay, I think that helped. But you can still see pretty much all of my freckles, my veining, redness. It really, and then even underneath my eyes, I still think my dark circles are pretty noticeable. But I mean, it wasn't a bad, that bad of a match that I really thought it was going to be. It did get a little bit darker than what I kind of thought it was going to be at. So, I mean, it's not bad. I don't know if my skin's going to break out and freak out after this, but it's something. All right, I'm just going to put a bit of eyeshadow primer on my eyes. All right, I just primed my eyes. The next thing that we have here are these Makeup Beauty Tools cosmetic accessories. I don't really say exactly what it is, but they're basically these things that you just like stick on to your eyebrows and it helps to create like a stencil for your eyebrows. And this was a dollar and 90 cents. You gotta put it together, huh? What the heck is this? What do you do with this? Oh Lord. <laughs> well, we have some different, oh my gosh. What do you do with this thing? Okay, well, let's figure out what kind of eyebrows I have. So this is, what does it say? Okay, so this is two on the middle part. Am I a two? Uh, I don't really think so. I'm definitely not a number one. No. <laughs> this is kind of entertaining. I definitely don't think I'm a number six. Or am I number six? I don't know. It's kind of hard to see. No, I don't think I'm a number six. Uh, five? Okay. Five is closer. <laughs> what do you guys think? Okay, five is probably the closest one. Seven. Uh, mm, eight? This is so weird. I mean, eight's pretty close on this eyebrow but it's not really close on this eyebrow. Like what is all of this space? Why does it fit in this part? I don't know. My eyebrows are not the same shape by the way. They are completely different. I'm aware of that. Uh, definitely a no. Let's see, what is this one? No, 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 no. <laughs> all right, so I'm just gonna put the ones that are definite no back in its little baggie here. So let's see, we have eight, um, eight and then five huh i think eight is probably the closest so now i need to figure out oh okay so this goes in there oh okay so it goes like that and you just like hold it i feel like my face is a little too small i'm having to like do this while i put it on my face <laughs> what the heck am i even doing with my life oh my god all right uh, well, now I don't have any eyebrow stuff. Does this stick? I wish it would like stick onto my, my face here. All right, I got a eyebrow pencil that I don't really use anymore. And we're just gonna fill this whole thing in and give me some eyebrows. Oh, you know, I think this might work in a weird way. Um, oh, okay, I get it. 
So like this stencil kind of prevents your pencil to move like close to it. Yo, my eyebrows are gonna look so crazy after this. Oh my God. Oh, what even the heck is going on here? <laughs> are you ready for the reveal? Lovely. Oh, look, look at them eyebrows. Super cute. Mm. I mean, I guess this could be handy, but it's kind of hard to move it around to get it on your eyebrows. I don't really know. It's gonna bother the heck out of me if I don't have this part filled in though. I'm just gonna, they're already messed up anyways. I'm just gonna, I don't really know what I'm doing. There's no fixing this. All right. So this next thing, I have no idea how to say this name, but it says grooming powder, a portable light something let loose powder, natural beauty of the face, rotate the lid, move the lid, remove the lid and remove the cap, open the top. What kind of instructions are these? So to my understanding, this was a blush and this was $2.70. So it's got a little mirror and then the little blush is on the end. Oh, and then this feels like a powder puff. Uh, so how do you remove, how does this work? Do you dip it in? Oh, okay. <laughs> Open the top of the bottle cap, reverse the bottle and the light pressure powder will get to the powder hole. Through the powder hole. Use after, use after bottom makeup to make the skin tone natural and healthy. What's bottom makeup? Ooh, I unscrewed it. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Is it about to explode on me? What? Okay, so I'm pretty, what? So I'm pretty sure, oh, what the heck is this? I don't even understand. Uh, woo! Oh, okay. So I'm, God, this is so messy. This is like exploding powder all over me. Ah, get off. All right, so I'm pretty sure you remove this part, which is the cap, and then you screw this back onto here, and then you should be able to get the blush. Oh, okay, yeah. So now I'm starting to see the blush coming through here. But when is it gonna show up? Oh, okay, here we go. All right. I have finally figured out how to work this thing. So I'm assuming you just kind of pat it on your cheeks, huh? Mm. I mean, it's not really evenly distributing the blush. Um, I mean, it's a nice color, uh, but the application technique, I am not, not there for it. Nope. Hmm, no, the more I'm using it, the worse it's getting. Hmm, yeah, and the blush is coming through there a lot more now. All right, now it's getting really bright pink. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay, I think we've had enough of the blush. So this next thing was is a lip gloss, and this is supposed to be a holographic mermaid lip gloss. Do not use this product when feeling any discomfort. Please use this product before expiration. Uh, okay. So I don't, I wouldn't call it holographic, but it's a holographic mermaid gloss. It was $1.75. Oh, praying to the Lord Jesus that nothing bad happened to my lips. Okay, I won't lie. This actually looks kind of cool. It's very watery. It smells a little weird. I'm trying not to get paranoid or anything weird, but let me zoom you guys in to this lip gloss though. Can you see the rainbowness of this lip gloss? It's like green, blue, purple, pink. Is probably the best thing that we've gotten so far. And the last product that we have in here is this Lazy Double Color Gradient Eyeshadow. Three seconds to make up double color stereo gradient. So it's like the little brush thing and you just like brush it on and it automatically has a gradient effect. All right, so I finally got this open. I don't really know why there's nutcrackers on there, but this was the most expensive thing. This was $3 and it has the little instruction things in here. Oh Lord, this is what it looks like. It's a tiny little container, comes with a little brush thing. And then here is the eyeshadow. Uh, it's pretty shimmery. Lord, pray for me, pray for me, pray for me. This did have different color combinations, but it was really confusing. 
about like what colors to get. So it says to pick up content with bright color from the upper part to create a neutral eye gradient. Oh Lord, please work. <laughs> ah. Well, that worked pretty nicely. Oh Lord. Can I even get this to work the right way? We're just gonna look like a clown today, cause that's fine. I mean, it works a little bit better, just kind of like finessing it. Uh, <laughs> this is so weird and it looks terrible. What I think I'm gonna do is reverse the brush. All right, let me, I'm just gonna put this metallic shade on my eye, just with my finger. Honestly, it's not that bad when you use just like your finger. You get such a better payoff that way. Oh, I know it's not pretty, but let me just see. Let me just try to make this eye work. So I'm just gonna take a regular eyeshadow brush and just blend it a little bit. I mean, the more I blend it, the more metallic it's getting. And I get the light bottom shade and highlight my brow bone. Whoa, that's actually a crazy highlight. And I'm just gonna highlight my inner corner too, cause why not? I got clown makeup on. All right, you guys wanna see a zoom in of everything? I got these bomb eyebrows going on. Eyeshadow, <laughs> the blush, the foundation. Actually, the foundation is probably the best thing, honestly, because it's not really creasing that much on my forehead. It is creasing a little bit in my smile lines, but like the fact that I haven't set it with powder and it looks this good, and even underneath my eyes, I think it looks pretty good underneath my eyes and the metallic mermaid lip gloss. All right, now what I'm curious about is, have you guys bought anything from Wish? Do you guys enjoy these kind of videos? Because I definitely had some fun trying out these products. Even though I look like a clown, it's still fun to try to play around with things. <laughs> but that is it for this video. I'll have my last video right up here for you guys to check out. This video will be suggested to you by YouTube and my face will be right here where you can click on it and subscribe to my channel.